Hi, I invite you to the lecture about tibia, fibula and knee joint. These are the structures which we doesn't appreciate in everyday life, but they give us absolutely great possibilities for our activities. Let's see how they do it. Bones of leg are two long bones. One more massive occurs more medially, it is tibia, and the second one occurs laterally, much thinner, fibula. Let's look at the proximal part of tibia with the anterior view. At the top there are even structures that connect to the femur and they are condyles, medial and lateral. To create a joint, of course, they must have articular surfaces. Between condyles we see something like a hill and we call it intercondylar eminence. On farther figures it will be visible from another side. What is characteristic in the uneven surface appearing on the anterior surface, as you probably guess, it is the tuberosity, specifically tibial tuberosity. Similarly, as in the forearm, also bones of leg connect with each other. We will discuss it later. We are still talking about the proximal end of the tibia, but now we are looking from the superior view. Here you can clearly see the condyles and the intercondylar eminence. However, we can see that some untold structures have remained. Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. If you are interested in video lectures, I invite you to my website schoolofanatomy.com. You can find there full versions of lectures and quizzes divided into topics. School of Anatomy is also a place where you can compete with other students, earnings, achievements and medical ranks. So, if you want to be on time with anatomical knowledge, subscribe my channel and newsletter. Links are below this pin. Thank you for your attention. See you at the School of Anatomy. Maciej Haberka.